I'm Michaela Chester for NCAA Digital, and I'm going to have Wisconsin Volleyball head coach Kelly Sheffield build his ultimate dream player. Here's how it's going to work. I'm going to give Coach Sheffield 11 categories, including one he specially requested, and he will have to pick one player for each category from his eight years at Wisconsin to build his ultimate Badger dream player. A quarterback, well, you know, I've only had two setters in my eight years here, so there's not a long list of people that to come with. But um, man, I've been really fortunate with both of them. But we'll we'll go with Lauren Carlini. You know, she, every every team she's ever been on is better than probably what their collective talent is. I mean, she just makes every team better. Her teammates play hard for her. She's got incredible range when she's on the run. Make all make all the sets. Big time competitor totally bought in uh, and has really worked hard to, to have a complete game. So we'll, we'll start with Carlini. Terminator. We'll go with Molly Haggard. Had a huge impact for us her freshman year, led her team in, in kills. She had back surgery after her freshman year and looked like her career was probably uh, possibly going to be over. Worked hard to get back. Had a great year last year. Matter of fact, in her NCAA tournament matches, she's hitting about 300. So when I think of Terminator, I think somebody who brings in big moments, big matches, can carry a big load. You know, we'll have her back in six rotations again this year. We'll go with Dana Redke on that. She certainly could have, probably could have been in the previous category as, as, as well. But her freshman year, she had... Um, she got quite a few blocks, but that probably had more to do with her height and reach than anything else. You know, it's uh, she's probably a lot more of an offensive player early on in her career, but has worked really hard the past year or two uh, on her blocking, on her eye work, on her footwork. And, um, you know, she's got a chance of being the school's all-time leader on blocks. And, you know, she's just, that part of her game, the defensive part of her game is just really, really become an important thing to her. So we'll, we'll go with Dana on, on the brick wall. The hype man had quite a few people to get pretty, pretty jacked up. We'll go with Kelly Bates on this one. <laughs> Kelly probably had a higher vertical in celebration than what she did in actual match play. <laughs> it, uh, you know, she just loved playing the game, loved competing, loved trash talking, loved everything, loved watching matches. And, uh, you know, I think she brought the best out of others, you know, as, as, as fired up that she would get. We've had quite a few people that are, that are pretty passionate out there, but we'll, we'll give that one to Bates. We'll go with Sydney Hilly. You know, she, Sid graduated from high school a uh, semester early, came in here and, and got work in. And then in the fall, you know, a team, team voted for captains. And I think she had enough votes to be a, be one of our team captains her freshman year, which is, is kind of insane. She's three-time captain for us. Everything matters to her. She doesn't waste a rep in, in practice, but yeah, she does it with a confidence and a, and a calmness without a lot of stress. She's kind of turned into that type of player. You know, I think great leaders, they go to bed thinking, how can they bring out the best in others? How they, how they can bring people together. I'm sure Sid does that quite a bit. Uh, she amazing leader for us he, you know she's our compass and so uh we'll we'll go with Sid you know probably Tiffany Clark we'll, we'll go with that I don't know how many pancakes she she got uh, in her career she probably ate more pancakes than she probably did on the volleyball court but but what I think what I think you're at with that is a uh, somebody who just plays with a lot of range you know will go, go after the ball and and uh, not afraid to hit the floor. She's certainly that player. Her senior year, she played with two torn labrums in her hips. And so right after the season, she had two separate hip surgeries. And probably just how many times she was just throwing her body on the floor had something to do with that. But, well, uh, you know, she, uh, Tiffany's probably one of those players. You know, she'll probably be playing adult nationals into her 60s, and she'll probably be one of those players that asks somebody to give her a pit drill right before that, that adult nationals match. So uh, we'll, we'll go with Tiff. I hate to give it to a, a first-year player, but the stats probably say that we should go with Izzy Ashburn. She led the Big Ten and Aces last year, served in at 90%. Uh, I think teams passed a 1-7 against her serve. Just 
You know, it's got a lot of confidence back there and just so much movement on the ball. There's some servers that, that, you know, with top spin that can put more pace on the ball, but she has pace, it's flat, and boy, it dances. And so that's, that's, a, that's a gnarly serve to pass, so. This is one you wanted to add, the Swiss Army knife, a player who does it all. Yeah, well, you know, in our sport, it's the, it's the ultimate sport where you, you you got to be able to do a lot of different things. You know, you can't stop to organize. Courtney Thomas is by far and away, he's got to be the Swiss Army knife, the person that does it all for, out there on the court. You know, she was a starting setter uh, early on in her career, moved to the right side, became a, a solid blocker for us, solid defensive player, solid server. Then her senior year, she never passed in her entire career, club uh, or college. In her senior year, moves into the passing pattern, one is you know, turns into a pretty good passer for us. So, you know, big hammer, good hands, complete, complete all the way around player. She doesn't pass her entire career. You ask her to do that and she didn't blink. You know, she didn't blink. It was, this is what the team needed out of me. Um, we'll do it. Uh, probably the most complete player of all skills that I probably have ever been around. It's probably tough to go with a multi all-American for unsung hero, but we'll, but we'll go with Haley Nelson uh, with that. Probably just from a standpoint is w when she got here, I didn't think she'd ever play a point for us, <laughs> you know, to tell you the truth. But man, uh, you know, she ends her career with playing more sets than anybody in school history. So what the heck do I know? It was work. She was a middle blocker who was one of the first ones in the gym during passing practice because she wanted to be serving against the passers. And in the meantime, not only helps the passers, but she becomes a great server. You know, goes from a player I didn't think would ever really play to being a three-year captain for us. You know, it was just a great leader. She knew when to, to bring the hammer, but more importantly, she knew when to lower the temperature and to make sure that everybody understood this is a game and games are supposed to be fun. Um, you know, she played big in big moments. She was a guiding light on people on how to live their life, do good things away from, from the gym, how to take care of academics, how to just, you know, everything. We'll, we'll go with Nellie. We'll go with somebody who does the dirty work. <laughs> you know, we'll do that. I don't want to get, but uh, let's go with Taylor Morey on, on that. Man, she just, tough, tough. Uh, I remember being in Colorado, uh, one point and she goes pursuing a ball off the court and, and her foot clips the uh, uh, the stairs for the bleachers and she does just spins in the air and uh, it was nasty. It was the only time I've ever seen a player go down where I, I ran out on the court, man. I was scared to death. Uh, she looks up, drops an F-bomb at me, wondering why I'm over there next to her, tells me to go sit back down, gets back up, and goes back out in the court. You know, it's an um, absolute competitor. You know, it's another one of these kids that if it were up to her, she'd be doing defensive drills for three hours every day. That just just loves loves everything that goes into, into being an elite defensive player. We'll go with, we'll go with Timo some really big points that Demi Morales had for us. Dominique Thompson was certainly one of those players as well, but I'm going to go with Anne-Marie Hickey. Mentally tough, loved big moments, didn't get too high or too, or too low. Uh, put the work in. I mean, spring going into her senior year, she was in the gym twice a day on her own, just doing wall work or having somebody serve to her. I mean, constantly. I, I think she was doing a lot of studying in the field house, but you know, her senior year, we played six NCAA tournament matches. She passed a 2-5-6, uh, which is on, on a three-point scale, which is just ridiculous. Uh, I think she got served 121 times and got ace three, just in big moments. And it just was – and we passed we passed two, all six rotations. I mean, so she was passing half the court or maybe a little bit more than half the court with, with, uh, with Demi and Taylor Morey. So – that's a, that's a pretty gnarly passing average uh, that, that she had there. We'll, we'll go with Anne-Marie.